In the article "The Origins of SARS-CoV-2: A Critical Review," scientists investigated the two most prominent theories in COVID-19 origins tracing: what's called the laboratory escape scenario and zoonotic emergence. In terms of the first, the scientists said they found nothing to suggest that COVID-19 originated in a laboratory, or that any of the early cases were linked to the Wuhan Institute of Virology, a high-level research facility in central China. In an article in the peer-reviewed Cell Journal, the scientists said no epidemic had ever been caused by the escape of a novel virus. They also said there was no data to suggest the lab in Wuhan or any other laboratory was working on the virus before the pandemic broke out. The article also says, despite extensive contact tracing, there were also no reported cases related to any laboratory staff in Wuhan. Some theories have pointed to how the Wuhan Institute of Virology may have leaked the bat virus. RATG13, which shares the highest genetic similarity with the COVID-19 virus, and the coronavirus spread from this. However, the review says Wuhan's lab never collected the virus or any other of its kind. In addition, all the similar viruses were sequenced after the pandemic had begun. The scientists said, in contrast to other scenarios, there was a substantial body of scientific evidence to support the zoonotic origin, where the virus jumped from an animal to a human. They said all previous human coronaviruses had the zoonotic origins, and the current coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2, was the ninth documented coronavirus that infects humans. In conclusion, the scientists call for a comprehensive study on the zoonotic origin. They also warn that a failure to do so would leave the world vulnerable to future pandemics. Dong Yi, CGTN.